Hi, you guys. So today, I have like the weirdest <laughs> dream. <laughs> it was so weird. But anyways, let's get into it. So in this dream, I am using my face mask. And for some reason, I am like... I don't know if I was, I was like using some kind of bungee cord. Like it was weird. Like I was hopping from spot to spot. Like it was weird. But anyways, it kind of felt like I was at recess, but in my adult, like as an adult. But anyways, one of my friends was there and well, she's really not a friend anymore, but she was there and I was trying to share my face mask with her. And I gave it to her and she kind of like dropped it on the ground and she walked away to go off with the guy. So then another friend came and I asked her if she wanted to use it, but she ended up getting something else. She got a car as a gift from someone. And when she got the car, she actually tried to run my mask over y'all. So you can barely hear me in this section. So just a quick voice over y'all. So once she got the car, she started trying to run my mask over. Like she was deliberately trying to destroy my mask. So I somehow end up bungee cording with another friend to try to get the mask back from her. And I end up going in backyards, like street parties, lamp poles, lights, and everything. It was crazy, y'all. Like, it's almost as if we were causing destruction trying to stop her. But anyways, another one of my friends pops up, and she's bungee cording with us. And, you know, we're still going around in people's backyards. Like, we was just off the chain, reckless, y'all. On the freeway, on the side of the road, running the lights. It was so crazy. Like, we were so serious and really determined to catch her. Like, and she was really determined to run the mask over. And it was weird because she would, like, it's like she would run it over, but her tires wouldn't hit it. So it wouldn't be destroyed or her tire would only hit it a little bit to where it flew up a little bit more or the wind would push it. But yeah, we was on a mission, y'all. We was on a mission. And in the, in the meaning, in the meantime, in the middle of the mission, we were causing so much destruction. Every time we ended up in someone's backyard, we would wave high and just keep going. <laughs> it was weird, y'all. Finally, we found ourselves at somebody's backyard barbecue party. And as we were going by, they waved at us and they said, hey, babies, are y'all hungry? And, uh, you know, one of my friends was like, yes. And <laughs> she was like, well, y'all come on and get a plate. So we came over and um, we got a plate. And each of us, as they gave us the food, you know, I felt so hesitant as I was walking in. I was like, these people could have did something to this food. We don't even know these people. Why we had to bring such and such with us? She always, <laughs> like, I'm thinking this in my mind. But, you know, everybody else went before me. And after they got their food, they said, thank you. And once the lady put the food on my plate and she gave it to me, I woke up and out loud, I said, thank you. So yeah, that is the dream. Here is the scripture, y'all. The scripture comes from Sirach and seven. Do no evil and evil will not overtake you. Avoid wickedness and it will turn aside from you. So not in the furrows of injustice, lest you harvest it sevenfold. Seek not from the Lord authority, nor from the king a place of honor. Parade not your justice before the Lord, and before the king flaunt not your wisdom. Seek not to become a judge if you have not strength to root out crime, or you will show favor to the ruler and may your and mar your integrity. Be guilty of no evil before the city's populace, nor disgrace yourself before assembly. Do not plot to repeat a sin, not even for one will you go unpunished. Say not, he will appreciate my many gifts. The Most High will accept my offerings. 
Be not impatient in prayers, and neglect not the giving of alms. Laugh not at an embittered man. Be mindful of him who exalts and humbles. Plot no mischief against your brother, nor against your friend and companion. Delight not in telling lie after lie, for it never results in good. Thrust not yourself into the deliberations of princes, and repeat not the words of your prayer. Hate not laborious tasks, not forming, which was ordained by the Most High. Do not esteem yourself better than your fellows. Remember his wrath will not delay. More and more, humble your pride. What a waste man is worms. <sighs> okay, you guys, that was such a long scripture. But even more so, the dream was <laughs> so weird. And I feel like in this dream, God is saying, sometimes we are so busy trying to, the scripture too, now that I think about it, sometimes we get so caught up in what someone did wrong to us that we don't even realize we could in ourselves trying to chase this person down, trying to prove this person wrong, trying so hard to prove that we didn't do anything or to prove that we were in the right we could actually cause harm to someone else and i say that because this is my friend our ex-friend was deliberately trying to run over a mask that i was loaning her i was trying to help her i was trying to be nice and share with her and she deliberately, deliberately went out of her way to try to run it over and destroy it. And I had told so many people and I got them to come with me. And it was like a gang of us chasing after one person. And we caused so much destruction. We ended up um, going through lights, you know, going in the back of people's yards, like doing all kinds of crazy madness. And I feel like god is saying like we had a choice at the end of the dream we could have said no to them and kept trying to chase this girl down for this mess or we had the option of stopping our destruction stop trying to prove that she did something wrong stop trying to chase her down and put forth all this effort to try to show that she was wrong for what she did and sit down with others and break bread with them. They offered us something to eat. They offered us to sit with them and enjoy their party. And we chose that. And I feel like that's what God is saying. When someone does you wrong, don't worry. God will get them. God never forgets what's going on. God never sleeps. I'm going to pause right here and add y'all. Sometimes... I feel like this is another reason why God doesn't want us to be chasing behind someone trying to prove that they did something wrong because other people saw what she was doing. And had it just been her driving, trying to run my mask over by herself, people would have just been like, oh, my God, why is she doing that? But we were chasing after her, causing destruction behind her. So not only were they saying, why is she doing that? They then said, why in the world are they doing that? And then what we were doing was being destructive to people around us, not her in particular. So it was kind of like, it goes into the scripture so perfectly, y'all. Like sometimes you can actually be trying to get one person, but in the matter of you trying to get that one person, you end up offending a bunch of other people that you didn't even mean to, mean to offend. In reality, they had no idea what was going on. They had no idea why she was doing. I didn't even have an idea as to why she was seeking out to destroy something that belonged to me. But that's what she was doing, y'all. It was just, it felt so crazy. I had no idea why she was doing that. And they were just like, why? And I said, I don't know. And they were like, well, okay, I'm going to help you go and get your stuff. Like, she don't have no reason to be doing this, y'all. So, you guys, I feel like the mask represents me giving out advice from experience. And the first girl, like... She didn't want it. The second girl, she acted like she wanted it, 
but in actuality she wanted to ruin it and i feel like the way that she kept trying to run over my mask she was trying to ruin like maybe a reputation ruined the way people perceived me maybe she was lying about me or in a sense like talking down on me or trying to make me out to look bad and then she had this shiny car like look what i have i'm better than her and it's like although she was like right on i feel like she was right on the money every time like she almost had it she almost destroyed it every single time but she just could not run it over and she kept trying over and over and over like this is somebody that has put forth their best effort to ruin you and they are using their money and i feel like maybe their power to do it that to try to ruin your name try to ruin your reputation and you're running after them like stop please that's mine okay please stop trying to destroy what doesn't belong to you and you're trying to just prove them wrong and by running after them and trying to prove them wrong you are causing more destruction than you are helping the situation and y'all i had a whole epiphany like i took a pause from editing the video to go and make, check on my son give him a snack and also to make myself some food and it just clicked in my head that the food represents the word of god the food represents somebody ministering to us and i just found that so interesting y'all it's like our choice was between going against what God wants us to do and chasing this girl down and proving that she was wrong or stopping and going and receiving the word of God. Um, I was hesitant at first, but instead of being nasty to them, we stayed and they shared food with us. They broke bread with us and we ended up having a good time. And you know, at the end of the dream, when I woke up, like I said, I said out my mouth, thank you. And I feel like that's a reminder from us, from God to us to say thank you. Even when things are going bad, say thank you, because God will turn that bad situation into something good in a second y'all once again another epiphany like this is so real it fits in so perfectly when you go and you take a break when you're having a bad day and you go and listen to the word of god it gives you that peace it gives you that 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 inner knowing that everything is going to be okay and typically after you hear that word you say thank you and I woke up out my sleep saying thank you from that sudden moment of knowing y'all, that wisdom, that knowledge that I received. So I don't know who it is that's trying to ruin your reputation, who is trying to drag your name through the mud, who is trying to defame you, but don't argue with them. And do like how i do y'all i do not argue with nobody i don't have time when people try to argue with me i end the conversation and i go the other way the old me back in the day had wanted all the smoke y'all all the smoke all the smoke all the smoke i will stand there and argue for hours for days with no problem but today no I'm not going to argue with you. You're not going to make me angry. You're not going to get me out of myself. I will remain the calm, sweet, and peaceful person that I am. And I encourage you all to do the same. If someone is trying to defame you, trying to make you look bad, trying to make it seem like you aren't the sweet, wonderful, generous person that you are, ignore them. Allow them to act up because the evil spirits that are making them do this will get very agitated to the point that they will start showing their true colors. Okay. 
And you know what you should do instead, y'all? Start to listen to the word of God. Yeah, more than since John Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like at the end of the dream, when we were offered food by strangers, y'all. Start to listen to the word of God. Start, put on some gospel music. Don't let them make you upset. Don't let them make you angry. Don't argue with them. Let them act a fool by themselves. Heavenly Father, thank you for this word. Thank you so much for this dream. I pray with all my heart and soul that it touched somebody, that it helped somebody, Lord. I pray with all my heart and soul that you will ensure us that no matter what anyone tries to do to us, that you will always be there watching and you will make sure that we will get our blessing regardless to what they do. I pray with all my heart and soul that you will allow those who are watching this video and feel like something was taken from them or maybe someone wronged them that you will send them blessings out of nowhere blessings from strangers blessings from unexpected places i pray with all my heart and soul in jesus name and last but not least lord thank you thank you thank you for the blessings in the past for the blessings to come thank you for the lessons to come thank you for everything that you have done for us in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.